One of my friends suggested that instead of just adding more flashy videos, that I should try adding some technical content to the website. Uh, and while that runs contrary to the bedrock principles of the internet, I'm actually open to giving it a try. I'll uh, just take a page from the Mythbusters playbook and warn you accordingly. By now you've probably noticed that LonelyBot's very big, uh, or actually it's very long. And the reason for that is actually far more important than just having room for solar panels on top. And that's because of a concept called hull speed. Hull speed is sort of a uh, maximum speed limit for all displacement craft, where a displacement craft is any basically slow boat um, that rather than lifting its bulk out of the water and skipping over the waves like a speedboat, uh, just sort of plies slowly pushing the water out of the way like a rowboat. So if we were to uh, imagine that my terrible drawing here is our boat and that it's moving in this direction, uh, it should be intuitive that it actually creates a little wave near the front of the boat. And waves being what waves are, and this propagates backwards in a repeating pattern. So it's probably also intuitive then, that as the boat moves faster, the wave gets a little bigger. Like so. So hull speed refers to the condition when the boat is moving fast enough, which in this case is still pretty slow, uh, that the wave it generates is equal in length to the hull itself. And that would look something like this. And the reason this is important is because it's probably uh, plain to see there's sort of a trough that now exists near the rear of the boat and there's a lump that exists near the front. And the net effect is that in order to progress forward, the boat has to climb up this sort of hill of water that it's created. Uh, and that takes a tremendous amount of energy and it uh, effectively limits all boats that operate in the displacement regime to operating at or near their hull speed and no faster. Uh, for a 23 foot long boat like Lonely Bot, the hull speed is about uh, four and a half knots. So in light of that, uh, a boat like Lonely Bot, where efficiency is the most important concern, uh, is going to want to try to minimize as much as possible any energy that's lost to wave-making drag. Uh, and that generally means making the boat as long as we possibly can. Uh, as a practical concern, I'm limited by the length of my garage, which is just a little bit uh, over 24 feet. Um, and so Lonely Bot is just a little bit under 24 feet. Uh, while that length is desirable from a hull speed standpoint, uh, it, in terms of manufacturability, uh, it does pose one or two other challenges. Um, you may know that plywood is available, uh, for my intents and purposes, uh, only in 8-foot lengths. So because the length I need from each panel to achieve 24 feet is so close to the length of the panel itself, uh, there's not a lot of excess to work with for making joints, which means that I'll need to be particularly mindful uh, in how I choose to construct the joints between each panel. So uh, that, uh, that will actually be the next project. Uh, hopefully in the next couple days uh, I'll get started on those joints.